Welcome to Iron Speed Designer Video Training. Today we are talking about the Iron Speed Designer Integrated Development Environment or Design View. Once we've created an application with Iron Speed Designer, we can open that application and view it in Design View to make changes. The Design View has the application explorer on the left. This explorer gives you access to all of the folders of your application and all of the files in those folders. In the center is the layout editor. The layout editor or grid editor gives you a grid view of the many sections of each page. Whichever page you select you can go to the page section drop down and see the various parts of that page. Every page starts with a master page and then the page contents. The page contents of this page consists of a product record control panel and in that and a buttons panel. In the product record control panel is a header section and the field section. And on the right we have the property sheet and the toolbox. Each of these panels can be pinned or unpinned in order to make them available. And if those aren't shown immediately, you can go to the view menu. The view menu shows you the view you're currently looking at and what is exposed. If you don't want to see the toolbox, you can uncheck it. If you want to see the toolbox, just check it again. So we have the Application Explorer, the toolbox, and the properties. We also have the Files menu, which allows us to choose whether we see all files in the application or only those files which it's safe to edit with IronSpeed Designer. We can also decide whether we want our database fields to be displayed alphabetically or in database field order and we can choose whether or not we want to see numbers when we display code lines in our designer. If we have application security configured in our application we can turn it on or off and we can also look at the tools menu to see the functions that are available there. The primary function is the application wizard, which we use all the time to uh, create our application and add more features to it and change uh, various configurations. We have the security wizard for adding security. We have the batch wizard for making global changes. We have a code customization wizard for allowing you to uh, access to predetermined code customizations, which may be helpful. We have a deployment wizard to help you with the many methods of deployment that you can use in Iron Speed Designer. We also have many configuration functions brought together in the tools menu. And we also have the menu for synchronizing the database schema. This is not usually used while you're developing the application, but as you develop it and if you change your database schema it's important that your application remain in sync with the database schema so every time you change the database schema you come to the synchronized database schema menu and synchronize your database. And we have the link to Visual Studio so that you can open, visual, open your application in Visual Studio, make code changes, and then save the application, come back to Iron Speed Designer, and continue to make changes in the layout editor. We also have the build menu, which allows us to build either the current page, the application that's changed, or everything in the application. If you encounter a problem where your page doesn't display correctly that says there's an error on it, the very first thing to try is to rebuild all of your application just in case uh, something has gotten out of sync. 
a rebuild your entire application won't take very long and then when you display that page either in live preview or by running it you should see no, no more problem we also have choices for whether or not you build every time you run and for using the either development server or IIS to display your application and for tracing and event logging which will help you with debugging your application. Most of the things you want to change can be configured using the properties menu. The properties menu contains all of the functions previously uh, included in designer in various tabs, the formulas tab, the cell editor tab, the data sources tab, and the code tab. The formulas tab is now reflected in the action property, so if we have a control here, the action section of the control properties show us the formulas that apply to that control, which we can bring up the formula editor and then make changes there. For the cell editor tab where we edit, edit any cells in the grid editor we can select the cell and now we have the HTML editor. The HTML editor allows you to edit the contents of that particular cell. For your data sources on your page those are now contained in the query section of your property sheet. So you can select the query that reflects your data source and edit with the query wizard. And finally the code tab which allowed you to edit the code of your page is now reflected in the code methods section of the property sheet where you can select a code function and edit it in the code section. All of these functions in the property sheet are covered in much more detail in the video on using the property sheet so if you need more details I urge you to go see that video. And now that completes the video on using the IronSpeed Designer Integrated Development Environment. Be sure to see the many other videos available on the video pages of our website.